Hi folks, my name's Steve from Fun Twist Balloon Animals. I'm asked to do a First Friday video for you here on balloons. Balloons, as you know, are these stretchy little toys you can blow up and play with. Balloons are made from latex rubber, which is a naturally occurring substance. Um, it is very, very stretchy. They can come in many colors, many shapes, many sizes. Um, when you blow them up, you probably shouldn't blow them up by mouth. You should get a pump. Uh, they are a choking hazard, not recommended for children under three years of age. Um, but for ones over, they're relatively safe. Uh, the other great thing about balloons is they come uh, from trees. They're made of the sap of the rubber plant. Uh, you get a material called latex, and they add a little bit of color to them and shape them into the fun toys we know today. The rubber tree is native to rainforests. Uh, originally, they're from South America. Many of them are currently grown in Indonesia. They actually have plantations. They're rainforest plantations. Um, they add to the environment, uh, creating oxygen and all those wonderful things. So instead of clear cutting trees, they're planting more to make balloons. Um, natural latex like this is biodegradable. When you're done with a balloon, you simply cut them up Add them to your trash can or your mulch pile, and they will break down the same as the leaves that fall from trees. Now, there are people who do balloon releases. They'll fill up helium balloons, and they let a bunch of them go up into the air. That can be dangerous because, much like leaves or wood, um, you've seen shipwrecks in the ocean, balloons won't biodegrade in water, especially salt water. When they pop, they can look like little jellyfish. The turtles will swim up and eat them. So never release your balloons. Always dispose of them carefully. Obviously, I make a lot of fun things out of balloons. The history of balloons and balloon twisting dates back to the early 1900s. Um, the first modern balloons were created uh, right here in the United States. Um, but they've gotten more modern since then. The first ones were round or heart-shaped um, or even a little bit oval. Uh, they would come with uh, printing on them and tie them into little cardboard or wooden shoes and make little people. Um, older, the older folks out there might remember some of those. Um, balloon twisting came about in the 1950s or 1960s as they started making the longer, skinnier balloons and people would tie them together. in vague dog shapes. And through the 70s, we started getting balloons like this. And you can twist them all from one piece. Now, the history of balloons dates back a little bit farther than that, though. Um, back in Europe, in the Middle Ages, they would inflate things like pigs or sheep bladders and put them on sticks for kids to play with. I think the rubber ones are a lot more fun. And balloon animals actually date back to the ancient Aztecs, here, right here in uh, Central America. And they would uh, make shapes out of, um, it was intestine, actually it was pig intestines there. Um, but they would make animal shapes and uh, you can see carved stone of them doing exactly this but with big intestines. Now I'd like to do something a little fun for you today. I'm gonna to go get my assistant. We're going to make a really fun animal for you. Um, if you can bear with me for just a moment, I'll be right back. Hi, and we're back. This is my lovely assistant, Bridget. Wave hi, say hi. 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 What kind of balloon are we gonna to make today, Bridget? Giraffe. A giraffe, okay. So we've got plenty of balloons here to make a giraffe. I'm gonna start. Wrapping one all the way around your waist. Good job.
Oh, with that would be messy. Hold his reins. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna straighten them up. Do a little slow spinning for the camera here. There you go. <laughs> do you love him? Yeah? That's awesome. Does he make you smile? Do balloons bring joy? One of the wonderful things about balloons is that they make everybody smile. They make everybody joyful. They might be temporary. They might only last a couple of days or a couple of weeks. But part of that uh, temporary nature is part of the nature of joy of balloons. Um, they're special. They're for special occasions, they're for special times. Uh, and I can't think of a time more special than this or people more special than this. I hope everybody had fun. I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much and good night. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>